Hello everyone, Soul back right here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. I know I am, as I just got Daggerfall Unity 1.1. Fully working with all the mods that I had from the previous times, with a couple of additions. As well as the Papercraft mod working properly. So, we'll be able to dive back into the amazing game of Daggerfall. Although, unfortunately, we are going to have to create a new save. It's very sad. As uh, the older saves had a lot of the older mods on it, and trying to update it with the newer mods and stuff was kind of a mess, and kept it from loading, which is not good. So, we're just going to have to bite the bullet and start a brand new playthrough, which is okay. Because I have since then completely redone my character. And I think this build will be a much more effective build for how I play. As well as some cool tips and stuff that I learned from my YouTube video on how to do more effective builds. So, let's dive back in for the first time, again, to Daggerfall Unity, and uh, check out the amazing world that this game is. Uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Everything looks normal to me. <laughs> yeah, see, originally when I would try and load stuff up, when I try to merge the old with the new, it would just constantly crash. Or it, it, didn't, it didn't crash, it just didn't do anything. So I went through like the past two to three days of just constantly trying to figure out what, what the issue was and why certain things weren't showing up. But uh, we got a fix, so this is our brand new playthrough. Now, with our stats here, we got uh, Selena here at a strength of 95. The plan is we need to have this leveled up to 99 or to 100. And afterwards, we're going to need to try and get our speed and our intelligence up to 100 as well. Apparently, will and agility are like dumb stats in this game, or at least that's what a, uh, um, a player on uh, YouTube was telling me about. So... I got this cool mod that shows us the progression of the different skills that we have. So I got Long uh, long Blade, Critical Strike, and Restoration as my primaries, because those are going to constantly uh, go up the most. Followed by Stealth, Dodging, and Destruction for my major skills. Minor skills, we have Mysticism, Backstabbing, Medical, running, climbing, and mercantile, and then everything else is, you know, is in the millennia, miscellaneous, so. Hey! Champ Debu, uh, Champ, or Champ Debo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Pleasure to have you here. We're doing well. This game is incredible. Once you get crawling, you can't stop. It's like crack. Yeah, I was playing this game off and on uh, last year. And then uh, I came across an issue where I couldn't get out of a, a pit that I had to rescue someone from. And I was like, well, shit, I guess I'm screwed. You know, I, I, I thought it was an error in the game. Like the you know procedurally generated games, especially back in the day, had a lot of rough spots to where uh, you can get yourself in trouble um, if you weren't careful. And I thought that was what happened. But apparently, no, it's just that I didn't have... I. I didn't know that in order to climb out, I needed to switch to the grab function, put my weapon away, and then just hug the wall. You know, just walk towards it for a certain amount of time, and then you just start climbing if, you know, if climbing triggers. And I was like, wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but that's okay, because that build was a very different type of build, and one that I probably wouldn't do again, now that I know how leveling works in this game, and just in most... Uh, Elder Scrolls games, so it this setup makes a lot more sense now. 
console commands. Oh no, I think it was just a. No, it, it was just that I I didn't know that I had to. You know, I, we're used to things being context sensitive, right? And I was like, well, wait, how do you climb? It's like, oh, you just you just move towards the wall. It's like, oh, okay. And then it, it's like, well, it's not working. And then later I find like, oh, I had to be in grab mode. And then I had to put my weapon away, and then it works. Oh gosh! All right, what? Well, <laughs> it's an old game. If it blows up, just yeah. What's funny is the game is a parallel Starfield has with this game, but this game does procedure generation correct. Where Starfield? Yeah, Starfield really like. It's crazy watching people that played Starfield go back and play you know older Bethesda titles. Like there's somebody I was watching who was playing. Uh, Fallout 4, right? And, you know, people have their opinions about Fallout 4, but they were blown away with what Fallout 4 was doing compared to what Starfield attempted to do. And it's like, damn. Starfield really dropped the ball. Starfield has got to a template, though it just needs more content creativity. Yeah, that's... It, it sounds like they're making steps on fixing the problems. But man, it, it was it was not a good launch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No vision. Yeah. Let's see here. We have uh, for our starting set. Uh, I'm not sure why this is up here. This shouldn't be up here. This should be down here. But I'm not sure there's an error happening. But we got all the other other equipment over here. So unfortunately, the we only have iron weapons starting out. A lot of times when we start, I get lucky uh, to have a silver weapon of some kind because we're going to have to deal with imps. And iron weapons do absolutely nothing against imps. And unfortunately for this particular role, we have only iron weapons. So it's going to be a little rough going at the beginning. This game is simply, I want to play AD&D &D, and they stuck to that. Yeah. I kind of want to go back and check out the the... I don't know if it's a Unity engine, but I kind of want to go back and check out the community putting together, yeah, speaking of which, very Unity. You know, we, we took advantage here. You know, this game this game looks and sounds great. And I'm really excited to add more uh, beneficial modules, uh, more, more mods to really enhance this game. See, we already killed the rat here in the beginning. Um, so, so cool looking. Jeez. Oh, wow, that bat just came out of nowhere. There you go. Get smacked. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that, that thing is in there. We don't want to mess with it because we have no way to deal with it. There you go, smack this right. Smack! Smack! Okay. Oh! Ah, I've been blinded! No! Okay. Nope. Damn, I'm still blinded. Oh, there you go. All right, grab what we can. What's this? Oh, steel katana. Perfect. Oh, and an elven sword. The one of the drawbacks I have is that I'm I made it to where Selena here cannot use elven weapons. To try and help out balances to help balance some of the advantages I was I was giving her. So, unfortunately, we'll not be able to take advantage of that. But we still have this katana, which is still pretty nice. Yeah, the elven short sword is only a, a three to nine damage, so. You know, I'll, I'll take the steel katana any day. Here, let's get rid of that. Let's add this to our main hand. There we go. We'll give her this. Add that. And we'll change that to that. Hey, Ogdanon! How you doing, buddy? Thanks so much for the love and support and for the Hellcheck Redeem. I really appreciate it. It's been so long since I've seen Daggerfall. Well, good sir, this isn't just Daggerfall. This is Daggerfall Unity, which, as you can see here, um, 
has a ton of mods and looks incredible. Uh, yeah, look at this. This is this is Daggerfall. Th this is Daggerfall Unity. We got this game looking good. Oh. Yep, got that one. I'll take the meat just so that way we can cook it. Dagger Force should be a. Oh, uh oh. Ah. Oh. Don't, don't, don't close the door. There. Grab all that. Okay. Alright, let's see. How do I save in this game? Dagger Force should be a mandatory class for anyone who would be game designer. Here's how to make a good RPG. Agreed. <laughs> Look, it's 2D. It's still more addictive than most games today. I learned from it. Yeah. It's very true. Oblivion is pretty incredible. I've never really played much of Oblivion. See, when I got my start in Elder Scrolls games, it was with Morrowind on the Xbox back in like 2002, 2003. And I had no clue what I was doing, but I was just like, oh, this is cool. You know, it's the swing sword. Yeah, this is awesome. You know, I had, you know, for years I didn't know what I was doing, you know, and I got nowhere in that game. But it was still pretty cool to to see that, you know, that kind of universe. You know, and then I, and then I played the other games, you know, uh, Skyrim. Um, I, I completely skipped over Oblivion, which is really sad. I really need to go back and actually play Oblivion because Oblivion apparently has like some of the best like story quests in the whole franchise but yeah I don't I don't know maybe maybe it was just because maybe it was just because I was very much like you know uh maybe I was I don't know maybe it was just being too much of a moral boomer back then you know what I mean <laughs> But uh, yeah, Ob Oblivion's pretty good. I would love to play... I don't know if there's a Unity version, but I know there's a community effort to basically give this treatment to... Uh, to give this treatment to the... There you go. Let's see our... Get ourselves a little bit. You know, um... Uh, Elder Scrolls Arena. There's a, a Unity-like project. I'm not sure if it's Unity, but there's a project to basically um, make the engine work with mods and stuff like that. And I kind of want to experience that game, especially because that game is very much like, unlike this game and the later games where you can custom build anything you want, pretty much. In arena, you're pretty much you're stuck. You're pretty much stuck to type. You know, it's like here's all the classes. Pick one. Those are all the strengths and weaknesses you get. Make it work. It's like, oh, damn, that's rough. <laughs> but that's also kind of cool. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I miss him. I my my friend uh, Tangled. She's like super like a diehard of Oblivion. She's like she's like. <laughs> Oblivion ride or die. I was like, yeah, I know. I'll I'll play Oblivion sometime. I swear I will. I'll get to it someday, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's true. It, it, it gosh, that's right. Patrick Stewart was in that too. Hey, Flying Fox, good to see you, dude. Marwan is, in my opinion, the best Elder Scrolls 3D game. Hmm. Oh, I started arena is kind of ass. Uh, I watched a I watched a YouTuber who actually can uh, who actually was the convincing factor for me to get into this game to get into Unity uh, Daggerfall with all these mods. Like I watched his video talking about uh, Daggerfall, and I was like I was pretty blown away. I was like, all right, I guess I'm I guess I'm gonna spend time figuring this game out. You know? Oh shit.
Damn. Alright, let's see if I can... Oh, okay. Got him. That was rough. I, I almost died there. But yeah, that, that same YouTuber actually reviewed the very first uh, arena. And he was actually pleasantly surprised by a number of things in that game. Um, obviously, there's a lot of great improvements that Daggerfall does over Arena, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, like, you know what, this was actually, this was, this is a pretty decent game, you know, with that, that project to basically up the ante on it and kind of give it the, the Daggerfall Unity treatment, it could be, really be something special, but yeah, the, the, the game definitely has its real rough spots, it's, you know, it's a, it's a game that came out in 94, it's super ambitious, you know, for the time, oh shit. All right, let's... Can I... Damn it, I can't. All right. Whoa. Oh, that... They're fighting outside. The skeleton's actually fighting one of the bats. So many hours in oblivion? Yeah. Good to see you doing well? Yeah, it's good to see you too, dude. All right, so I want to rest... Oh, he just killed the giant bat. Alright, I definitely need to rest. I want to rest near a, a fire. Because if I do that... Let's see. Uh, controls. Uh, quick save is F9. Quick load is F11. Okay. Good to know. F9. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I have my... I have my... Uh, <laughs> Twitch integrated throwing systems bound to that key. Alright, hopefully we can make it back without that imp opening the door and giving us problems. Because, yeah, I remember last time going through this area, and just, no, I know the ep was there, and I just left, and then I immediately heard it open the door, and I, I just about shit my pants, it's like, oh shit. <laughs> but we, we got a steel weapon now, so we can, we can take it off if we need to. Oh, oh come on, go, go through the door. Yeah, now that I properly use the recommended, uh, the recommended reshade, this game looks really good. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. Alright, let's get her... Okay, so strength is at 100. Uh, let's get speed up to 100, and then we'll work on intelligence. Okay, I don't see anything new for... for that. I'm not sure if we have to... Look at that, our stealth has improved, and we've barely even done stealth. There you go. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, man, this the ambience is really nice. Like, it's really dark in here, actually. Although, there's a mod you can get to actually make it even darker. So that way you have more of a reason to use your, your torches. I was 50-50 I was on possibly using that mod. I'm not sure if I will use it. I might. But... Yeah, this this game looks great. When I did the the reshade thing, I just added all the things, and it definitely made it look different. But it didn't make it look as good as this, so kind of glad I decided to go that route. Okay, we ain't going that way because there's a bear in there. Oh. Damn. Went down fast. Okay. So let's see, what do we got here? That's plus three leather armor. What is this? Plus five armor. Okay. Throw the helmet on. Plus five armor. What is this? Plus three. Oh, they definitely use that instead. 
Yeah, most of this I'm going to sell. The weapon we have just happens to be pretty good. Yeah, the steel katana is pretty nice. And then we got this. Look at this. I have no clue what this is. But we... we I've never picked up a rare uh, a rare symbol starting off. I don't know if that's a like a random thing from the mod, but super cool. What is it? Tunic. Yeah, see, this would this would matter more if I would actually had, you know, the the paper doll stuff, you know, the typical paper doll stuff. I have mods where you can you can change the the paper dolls for like how they actually look, like have them all like look like anime characters and stuff. But I wanted to have my own custom character. Uh, in it, so it was a real pain in the ass getting this work, but finally got it working. Okay, let's let's cook all this meat before we before we move forward. Where's this go? Oh, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. All right, never mind. I found it funny how steep of an incline that is. Like, look at that. That's crazy. You think you would have to use the climb skull for that? Hey, Noel. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so let's go this way. Smack. Here. There's the imp. Damn. Yeah, finally got him. Wow, that that took a lot out of me. Damn. A spell has stained the floor. Huh? Oh. Talk about this. Yeah, I don't know what used to be there, and I don't want to know. Okay, uh, let's check. Okay, nothing new. Let's see, what's the difference between this this heal and this heal? They look like they do the same thing. I assume this one does a slightly bigger heal. I'm not really sure. The game can be, still be pretty vague on stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Add that. Ooh. Okay. I see normal map textures. Yes, that is because uh, this game... Uh, I, I'm using the uh, Dream uh, mods, which makes a lot of stuff high res, upscales a lot of things. It gives this all normal mapping. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Ow. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Gosh damn it. it is, let's see, let's... Oh, no, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not... No, I am definitely not dropping that. All right, let's light the torch. There you go. So now we have a portable light source. My gosh. That's where he came from. Oh, shit. Got an orc. What? Oh. Ooh, we got some good stuff.
Man, I'm going to have a fun time selling all this stuff. Ooh. Steel curse. I'll grab that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll get that. What is this? Oh, bread. All right. Okay, I better save again. <laughs> oh, that one's 3D. No, that looked... Well, okay, that looked 3D. We got no... No false walls, right? No false walls? No false walls? No false walls. Okay. Guess it was just an orc just chilling in there. Okay. Yeah, this is where we were at earlier. Let's see what we got here. Priest robes. Okay. That's just for us to look fancy in. Yeah, let's douse this torch. Let's cook the meat. And then we will rest until healed. Okay. We ate some rations. Okay, let's get rid of... The moldy re the moldy meat that doesn't that doesn't seem like a good idea to have, you know. Ah. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so check this out, guys. You can just hit the lever here to bring you up to the next level here. But if we put away our weapon and go into grab mode, oh, oh, we're gonna do it. We gonna we're gonna do a thing. Hey, there we go. What is that? What'd I do? I'm not sure what I did. Info mode. I went in stealth mode for a moment. And I threw dice or something? I'm not sure what that was about. Okay. Okay. I gotta figure out where to go. Sounds like something's over here. Oh, this the guards. After much practice, you feel ready to advance the stealth. Sweet.
Man, I'm gonna have to get out of here just so that way I can sell stuff. I gotta figure out what the different healing things do. I don't really understand which one I should be using at what time. Because the game doesn't explain it. It just says, oh yeah, this is healing. It's like, alright, well this is like better healing or longer lasting healing or... Alright, let's just sell. My katana looks as dull as a butter knife. Oof. Actually, that's a it's a good observation. What is how's it looking here? Condition battered. How fast does equipment wear in this game? Steel short sword, steel saber. Used, worn, okay. Why don't we exchange this? This doesn't do as much damage, but... It's not looking rough like this thing is. I'm sure there's a way we can maintain it. This lock has nothing to fear from you. Good. Oh, what? There we go. I wonder if we're supposed to be in stealth mode in order to unlock stuff. Now ah, we're already here. Okay, so this is clearly like the dungeon area. Damn, I am... I am missing these attacks. Gosh, this reminds me when I fought that rat for the first time on Morrowind, right? I didn't know how skills work. I didn't know how combat works or leveling or anything like that. I just saw, oh, this class looks cool, and I went with it, and I just wore whatever and equipped whatever, and I went to go fight, like, a, a rat as level 1 in Morrowind, and uh, I died multiple times. I'm like, what the hell is happening with this game? I said I had sudden flashbacks there. It's over here. Oh, shit. Come on. Ah. Oh, that was close. Oh, and here's the exit. Nice. All right, let's look into resting here for a moment.
close this door. Nice. Wow, my critical strike hasn't triggered once. Huh. How do I get the trigger? That's weird. Destruction has been going up a little bit. See, speed governs movement rating. With your speed of 60, you're considered fast. Is that where we're at? Why is it red? It's because I'm I'm carrying too much weight, is that it? That might be. Alright. The world of Daggerfall is immense, and generally cannot be traveled in real time. Open the travel map, normally by pressing V. The region that you are in is highlighted in red. Click on that region and you'll get a focus map. Click find and type in Daggerfall. For now, keep, tra keep the travel settings on cautious and ends. These settings will ensure you arrive in the morning. You do not want to, you do not want to arrive in Daggerfall City at night. Okay. Gosh, look at this. This looks so good. Oh. Oh hell no. <laughs> what? Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. No, this is bad. My character's cheech. Oh no. Suddenly is looking rough. Oh god. back yeah it's bad yep <laughs> that that win is about as good as I thought it would All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? Okay, this time we'll do a proper save. Okay. Okay, so let's let's press V. There we are in Daggerfall. All right, there's Daggerfall right there. Cautious. Stop at night for ends. Available gold is three hundred seven. Player controlled journey. Travel time about five hours and twenty four minutes. All right, let's do it. Oh wow, is this literally how we travel? You spot a set of animal tracks. They seem fresh. Do you wish to spend time on the hunt? Hell no. <laughs> you kidding me? This is fascinating. I didn't know that. I remember when I did fast travel before, it would just like instantly, it would just like instantly teleport you there. So this is all kind of, this is kind of new to me. You empty your sack of rations. Uh oh.
Yeah, this is very interesting. Alright, come on. What is this? Oh, okay. What? How did I hit it? What? How did I get here? Oh. Oh, hello there, sir. Um. Alright. You don't look friendly. Yeah. Back. I got a lot more of this. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Nope. Leave me alone. Alright. Do I have anything that I can use to help with my energy? Like this stuff? We eat the meat. Okay. Okay. Ah. Gosh dang it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, this is going as bad as well as Jeff figured it would. You should meditate on what you've learned about short plays. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll get right on that. Oh, God. I can't travel with enemies nearby. Gosh dang it. How'd I get in this predicament? There. That's right. You take that. Ah, oh, shit. When are you going to learn, old man? Gosh, I'm getting tired here. So we need to find... So you need to find a town. Get a horse by traveling on foot will take forever. Yeah. I'm not sure why... It took this path, though. Because when I, when I played this game previously, when I would do the fast traveling... It would just, like, blink me there. I don't know if maybe I have a mod on that makes the traveling a little more realistic. But I don't remember running into this issue before in the beginning of the game. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Ah! Run! Keep running! You're still following me? Okay. I think we're good now. No! Oh, it flanked me! It's a raptor! Love the hills. Real nice touch. Alright, nope. I still can't. Gosh damn it. Am I just stuck with this guy? You can pick either travel, player travel, or fast travel. Oh, maybe I didn't have it set on the right thing then. Well, shit, this is going to take forever, so we're just going to reload. Okay. Oh, I gotta go over there? Do you wish to travel to Jaggerfall? I do. Speed. Uh. Hmm. Hold on. Actually, here's all the towns. What are these? Um, I remember going there before. Chest mark.
Hmm. Yeah, right now I can only travel on foot. Yeah, let's try to go to the, to the closest one. Okay, I think I know what happened. I think I clicked on a random spot for me to fast travel there. Instead of me just traveling to the town. I think that's what happened. There we go. Find towns first nearby. Press F4 to set your mode to dialogue. And then click with the person. In your conversation... Person is unfriendly or don't know, find the president. Right, okay. Ah, this stuff's all moldy. Alright, well, I definitely don't want any of that. Rations, okay, we still have some rations, although we probably need to buy some more. All plague victims must be left in the street to be gathered and burned. Oof. Hello there, sir. Locations. See, we got a weaponsmith around. Oh, cool. I really appreciate this. Most of the times uh, I'd go and ask somebody, they'd tell me to go pound sand. Alright, so let's see. General store. Go south. Somewhere that way. Just keep going southeast. Okay. The guilds. Is it dragon? Okay, doesn't know about that. Okay. The golden porcupine. Alright. I appreciate it. Okay, it's the same thing. What is this? Oh, what time is it? It is... Probably, seven, uh, what, 7 o'clock? 7, almost 7.30? Okay. Conversation window also has options for finding people news, local quests for work. Oh, right, right, right. That's just a resident. Bargain arms maker. Okay. All right, we'll just go check out some of the places here. Oh. You gain treasure in the starting dungeon, you want to sell it. Pawn shop is most useful for this, though general stores and armor smiths can also buy some goods. All right.
I can press F3 to change to info mode and click on the buildings to learn what they are from a distance. I can do that. Huh. Okay. I didn't know that. Maybe I can try that then. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Most characters want to join at least one guild as you rise in the ranks. You gain more benefits. Must improve skills, care about... Right, right, right. Spellcasters join Mage. Five tire, fighter types join Fighter Guild. Knightly Ordered. You can also pick a temple to join. You can only be the member of one temple and one Knightly Order. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think those exist in the later games, right? I know in Morrowind you have your different guilds, right? Your Mage's Guild, your Fighter's Guild, your Thief's Guild. And then you have the... Was it like the Imperial Cult or something like that? But as far as like all these different orders and temples, I don't think those exist in the later games. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't. Okay. Last task of all is to find a quest. Stagger Falls quests are radiant. Choosing locations around you. Around the place. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Increase some ranks with him, maybe party after joining guild, some fine side guild lane. Blah, 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 blah. And scratch my Okay. Many quests will send you to other towns. As you do enter your journal, normally L, and click on the quest log. Many times it'll automatically plan a travel for your quest. Oh. Otherwise you can open the travel. Okay. Nope, later games are simplified and hard and handholdy. Yeah. This is the end of the tutorial. Dagger Falls is a game with many unique and intricate mechanics, so learn from the other players about the game's quirks. You can also add mods to the game once you understand the basic mechanics. Welcome to your new your new obsession. Well they ain't they ain't lying about that. The Bat and Dungeon. This is so cool. So man. So this is what that does. I can literally just, I can just click on something from far away. Look at that. I don't have to worry about, I don't, man. It's like they thought of it in this game. <laughs> Born was the last to have interesting guilds with consequences. Yeah. So do, do do the guilds still exist in like say Skyrim, or did they like remove guilds completely? All right, hello, good sir. Can you some foods? And I can use the room for the night. Alright. This place seems a bit lively. Alright, so let's see here. Let me rest here. Let's see, it's... Eight. So if I rest for about nine hours, oh, wait. Oh, where did I, where did I end up now? So wait, what time is it? Kind of having, but nothing fun or interesting. The new writer, the new writer sucks, honestly. Yeah. Are there any mods that can help fix that? 
because actually I I have um I've I've been meaning to do like a massive amount of modding for Skyrim, and part of me wants to try out the Novelist mod, the Novelist mod, but I also found another uh YouTuber that gave out a mod list for what they use, and I'm kind of torn if I want to try that out. Or if I want to try the Novelist mod. Make the Dark Brotherhood a finger painting guild? On salt. Damn, that sucks. Possibly I'm not really a fan of Skyrim. I hear you. What is this? Oh, that's Resonance. The King's Goat. What the heck is the King's Goat? The White Guard. The Champion. Oh, this is tavern. Okay. Well, I don't really want to be at a tavern. Unless if... Nah. I'd, I'd rather go to a general store. Skyrim is a power fantasy RPG I enjoy. Oh, I, uh, Skyrim is a, is a power fantasy. I enjoy RPGs. Yeah, they kind of they kind of took the RP out of that G. King's equipment, white guard. Okay, so over here. Incense and soft music soothe your nerves as you cross the threshold. Each item in the shop is carefully mounted and displayed. Not the slightest defects can be detected in any of them. Nice. Real professional stuff, huh? Alright, so let's see. Should I sell this stuff to you? That's the question. I don't know if you'll I don't know if you'll buy this stuff. Probably not. Hmm. How much does that cost? I can't sell this stuff, right? Okay. Okay, that's going to cost me one twenty four. Is there a way to repair? Repair items. Okay, how much is it going to cost to repair my Stokatana? 
Holy shit, that's expensive. There you go. See if we can sell a bunch of stuff. Pretty much sell all my iron weapons. I don't care about it. All the elven stuff, because I'm not using elven weapons. I'll keep that. Iron Die Katana. I mean, that does a lot more damage, but... I mean, I guess I could hold on to it. Wait, did I sell that one thing I didn't want to sell? Okay, there it is. Oh, I didn't even see that. All right, that does that work? I let's see. Damn, I'm giving this dude that's the, the stuff that can be worth over two thousand dollars. He's like, nah, I'm gonna give you six twenty four for it. Yeah. It's like, here's a bunch of real cool stuff found in a dungeon. Uh, best I can go is 350 It's like, no. Hell no. Alright. Oh, it's not the exit. Uh, it's getting late. The king's equipment. Is that supposed to be like a... The king's store. It... Okay, this is the general store. Let's sell the stuff. See what he gives us for all this. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get rid of that. Iron Claymore. Four sixteen. Iron long bore. So okay. Steel short sword. Can't use that. Slightly used. Wow. Oh, well. Could have been a worse deal, honestly.
There, you want that fish? You can have the fish. This thing's worth a hundred gold. Damn. Right, let's just talk to this guy. Any current events going on? Ah. All right. What do you got for your wares? A horse. Damn. 3,000 for a horse, huh? See how much for the Ah of course. I have to select it in order to find out how much it is. That's way too much. It's actually a lot more than what the blacksmith was selling us, which kinda makes sense, you know. You get it straight from the source, it's a lot cheaper. You get it from like a second hand or you I mean not second hand, you get it from a you know, you, you get it not from the source, but you get it from like a seller. They're going to charge you more. Okay, let's grab some of these. All right, so that's what we got there. Okay. I know eventually I'm going to need to learn that recall spell. Which will definitely be on the list. All right, that's fine. That's actually not as bad. There we go. Yeah, see, now my speed's at 84. I wonder if that, uh, I wonder how to, I wonder if it had to do with the specific condition I was in. Recall, levitate, water breathing, or must for dagger fall. I'm assuming I can learn recall from like a like a mage bookstore or something like that. What is this? Was it must be a tavern from the mage guild? Oh, okay. So this is a library. You're Selena Evelyn, yes? The one who was shipwrecked? You will need to travel to ruins of Wixton Manor, which is 14 days travel to the east. Huh. Is it, is it asking me if I want to do that right now? Let's just click yes. Okay. I thought so. The storm that destroyed your boat was no natural winter squall. <clears throat> but I guess, you I guess you suspected as much. 
I will gladly tell you what I know about it, if you will find a particular rare scroll for me. This is not the type of job that I usually give, that I could usually give to the Fighters Guild, for the scroll is protected by some powerful Daedra spirits, and has the power to summon creatures from the Plane of Oblivion. Go to Ruins of Wixton Manor, find the scroll, and bring it back to me before 33 days have passed, and I will tell you what I know about the tempest that nearly destroyed you. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well we got, uh... Got some surprise info there. Let's see, we're definitely gonna need to go back to that place that we were just at. Where is it? It is... It's the bat in the dungeon. Horse. Wanna pet the horse? I can't pet the horse. Very disappointed. Well, maybe I can pet my own horse once I finally get one. Oh! Jeez, that's, uh, alright. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Okay, there it is. Pretty sure this is where I got my... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I got my... Oh. That's just the closet. Mirror Surf, you have a room here for another 14 hours. Okay. In that case, let us sleep for eight of them. What time is it? I'm trying to get used to how this, uh, how the timing works in this game. I get a little confused on. Um, when the time is and how long I'm supposed to rest in order for a certain time to a time of day to happen, so Okay. Okay, let's go back to that let's go back to that armor guy. So if I click on this with that, does it automatically fill it out on the map? Yes, it does. That is so cool. I remember when I played this last time, I had to go to the doors to find out what it was, and then it marked it on the map. And I was like, man, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. I mean, it's kind of realistic, but still, it's like, this is ridiculous. Now it's like, oh, well, dummy. You could have just clicked on it from afar with the info tab. It's like, oh, that's what, so that's what this means. Okay. Okay. Fighting's Guild. Okay, I would definitely want to sign up at the Fighters Guild. See, the residents don't light up at all. They don't pull that in. 
assisted residence. Okay. All right, let's go sell the stuff. And then we can get a quest, get some more monies, and then we'll have to make that journey. Hopefully, I'll be prepared for it by then. Oh. No, I just gotta wait a few more minutes. Yeah, because I could sell most of all this stuff. Really? This is a general store, huh? That's a that's a teeny that's a teeny the superior retail store. Are you really? Are are you really? Are you the superior retail store? This this looks kind of teeny, not gonna lie. Okay, see any stuff going on? Ghosts are haunting the streets of Daggerfall. Well that's uh concerning. All right, what are what are your superior wear? What are your superior wear, sir? Uh huh. Hmm. Superior, medium quality makes sense. Okay. Gosh, I should I should get the mod on here where it makes interacting with stuff context sensitive. So like if you're if you're pointing at someone from afar, I'm assuming it does the info where it tells you it tells you who they are. And if you're right close to them, it's it automatically switches to the to the interact mode. All right, let's sell this other stuff. I don't need it. I don't need that. There you go. I'll take that, thank you. All right. Okay, so nine o'clock. See, let's go check out the other ghosts real quick. The rusty skull. The Mages Guild. They open from 11. Jeez, what is it with these guilds, like, not opening up until midday? That's the Mages Guild. What's that over there? Antiquities.
Knights of the Dragon. Okay. You should meditate on what you learn about running. Ah, okay. White dog. Armory. I mean, I'm out here. I might as well go and scout the last buildings. Now that I know that all I have to do is this, instead of going out and, and actually, like, going to the doorstep of each one. This is, this is way easier to just identify stuff. The unfortunate muskrat. So I have the golden porcupine, the unfortunate muskrat. Okay, so there's one further down there. Dancing skull. Pigs. Okay, I thought we already saw an antiquities building. Must be a competitor. The Bank of Daggerfall. What? There's two Banks of Daggerfall? Is that like an expansion or something? Like you guys are became so big you had to... Oh, that's a temple. It's like not even a separate branch, just a separate building. That's the palace, huh? Sundries? Is that what it says? Doctor... Ed, Ed Rear's son. Huh. All right. That's so. It's still so funny though. You have the where where to go. The king's equipment, the queen's garments for like a a general store, and then you have this little box of the superior retail store. It reminds me of this old donut shop I used to go to as a kid at uh, an at an auction house. It was just it was like this little tr this like little mini like trailer thing of a of like a, a structure where this this guy would make these little the little mini donuts, and you see these little donuts kind of going on a conveyor belt and they get flipped over and you know they're, they're it was it was very. Um, it was a little gimmicky, but it was also kind of... It had charm, right? And the guy would make his donuts. He had, like, a little mini loudspeaker off the top of the cab. And he'd be, you know, advertising people to come check out the world's greatest donuts. It's just a little dinky trailer shop, you know? <laughs> uh, gosh, you go, over there, you go over there now, and unfortunately that whole area is all fenced off. And you can see... You can still see the... You can still see the little trailer... Just kind of sitting there, wasting away, you know, of a relic of an ancient past of my childhood I'll never be able to revisit again. You know, it's just, it's kind of depressing to think about. Random generation, you'll see that? Oh, yeah. We have a place, at the, we have a place like that near the mall? Yeah. Okay, so I think we got the majority of everything mapped, except for that one, which is fine. What time is it right now? It is a little after 10. Those places still aren't open yet.
I really want to go talk to the fighter guild so I can t try to join them. I want to also see if I can join the mage guild because I think we could use their teleportation. Let's go to the Toad and Rascal. Let's see what type of information we can pick up from there. Screenshot. I want a screenshot. Why would I help a complete stranger, especially one with your reputation? Excuse me? Of my reputation? What kind of bullshit is that? Background information... We have 32 days. Okay, so if I leave now... It says a 14-day travel. Is that... Is that, like, round trip? Because there's no way I'm going to make it 14 days. Wait. So that's, what, 14 days? That's 28 days? That'll be cutting it close. Them's fighting words, right? This guy's an asshole. I don't want to be a patron. Let's go back to the bat dungeon. They at least treated me like a person over there. I can stay there for another day. Rest up. All right, let's talk, let's go talk to the guilds. Ah, there it is. Has a very distinct look compared to all the other buildings. Wait, I just realized this is a moat. Your reputation precedes you, Solina. I am in need of a courier. Would you by chance be heading towards Black Witch anytime soon? I can entrust to. I can entrust you to drop off a package for me. I would pay you 432 gold pieces for your troubles. Um, sure. What luck. My friend is... 
Bedivere Greenheart in Black Witch. Just ask around. Everyone knows him. He'll pay you right away. If you take longer than 13 days, you may as well throw it away. Here it is. Okay. Bought this fine tights from... Uh, okay. Alright. It's pretty cool. Are you the... Roman Reigns, are you the, the head of the, of the guild here? Yes, you are. I wish to join. What for skills, training, discounts, armor, weapons, mission. Yeah, I am interested. I am now an apprentice. Awesome. Let's see what tasks we have available. Okay, my, they got a lot. Okay. Hey, Aaron, good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well. We're back at it with, uh, uh, with more Daggerfall, except now we're playing the 1.1 version. We completely rebuilt my character, so we're starting from scratch again, but, uh, you know, we're, we're making through it. So, Applebee's apparently giving out dollar margaritas. That is, um, that, that, that I think that's safe to uh, trigger anyone's fight or flight uh, <laughs> uh, reactions. Yeah, that that sounds like an accident waiting to happen. Hunting for giant rodents is that local? A house here in town is infested by giant rodents. Wife claims they're rats. The husband claims they're bats. Either way, they're gone. Yeah, sure. I can take care of that. Bargain Arms Maker. Oh, Bargain Arms Maker. I've been there before. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so let's go to... The bargain arms maker there, over there, that's along the way. Apparently, there's some several rats clawing, scratching the ground. They seem to be drawing closer. All right, it's cowabunga time. Wait. Ah. Here, we'll use that. Okay, there's the there's that guy. They're there. How'd you flank me? There you go. Man, these guys are more for these guys got more ferocious. Okay. I think we got him. Oh, more. That's most of them. Fighting the fighting the fighter skill won't quibble over the rest. Okay. Well, I mean I'm here to do a job. Come on. There we go. Jeez Louise. Where'd you come from? Oh gosh, they keep jumping me. Alright. Come on. Man, these rat these rats are, seem like a, they're a lot more ferocious. 
here than they were in the dungeon. Oh, did my did my, did my critical strike grow up? Okay, good. All right, all right, good sir. Me help you, ha ha ha. Well, I mean, you know, I just saved your ass, so whatever. The guild's paying me either way, so. All right, speaking of which, let's go collect our monies. Yep. Blacksmith had a had a rat infestation. Took care of it though. I have a mission that requires utmost stealth and secrecy. The risk is minimal, and I will pay you 98 gold pieces. It will only take 67 days of your time. I cannot tell you more unless you accept the mission. You need to travel to Woodcroft Hall, which is 8 days, traveling to the east. Uh, sure. Go to the Queen's Dagger in Woodcroft Hall. Lodge there is the courier bear bearing of the letter. Take it and leave this false one in its place. Do not disturb any of his belongings. If he finds out this letter has been switched, all my plans will be ruined. If you are caught, don't bother trying to find me. Oh. That's a lot of time for such a small reward. Yeah, right? Is the main, is the main quest time sensitive? I believe it is. Don't you have a letter... To deliver for me? Yes, I do. Alright. So wait, did I... Did I finish the other one? Here we go. Hunt for the Giant Road is completed at that time. Okay, thank God. They tell me what actually gets finished. No, I don't want to move the entry. Okay. Okay, so that's the one I just did. Messages. What happened to the one about... Wait a minute. Huh. Alright, before I figure that out, let's, let's go and talk to the Mages Guild. I remember reading somewhere that you have to finish the main quest within a certain time or you get locked out of it. Yeah. This is a Bethesda game, so there is no main quest. Battle Spire is the only one that actually has one in any meaningful way. And maybe Red Guard. Here's the major skill. Oh, wow. By spells. What is this? What is this number next to the spell? 
Is that how much they cost? Like to, to use the spell or? Okay, there's recall right there. Though you're bargained with me until the sun is on. Okay. All right. So we now we now know red uh, recall. Cure disease, cure po poison, I got a feeling these are pretty important. It's a lot of spells here. Yeah, why not? I'll join the guild. Take missions and hard effort to gain access to all the guild offers. But for now, I can give you access to our trainers and our spellmakers. Oh, heck yeah. Too much power and too little time has destroyed many a man and a woman. Mage skill is nothing if not... Is that con conscientious? Okay. When I have more money, I'll come back and get more, uh, get more, uh, spells and stuff. But, how do I go through the logs? I swore, I thought I had... Is that something I didn't add, maybe? Those, that's finished quests, I don't care about finished quests. Yeah, how am I supposed to... Huh. Maybe I don't have the mod installed, because I know there's a mod that helps you... Uh, helps assemble all your different quests and stuff for you to keep track of easily. Because how am I supposed to remember that I have, you know, where I'm supposed to go? All right, let's go back and get some rest. And then we can make our journey. The Crimson Griffin, okay.
Okay. You're currently unwell, either due to disease or poisoning. Resting right now, I'm going to leave to an early group. How did I get poisoned or diseased? What in the hell? You feel somewhat bad. Oh, what? This gave me a full history? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that was a... I didn't know they did that. That's honestly pretty cool. I see it shows finished quest, but it doesn't show me... I'll, I'll have to go back and see if I need to install that mod to make it to where I can actually recall what quests I've taken. Because otherwise, that's an issue. You've contracted stomach rot. It is a permanent condition unless you are cured. Characterized by a slight delay drop in health. Well, that sucks. It's cold and foggy. You're not overburdened. You have water to drink. You have rations. A little slurp. Okay. So what time is it right now? It is 6 o'clock. So it's a little... It's a little on the early side. I think I need to go to the temple. So it's five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're not. We'll sleep for the next six hours. Okay. Now we're going to go visit the temple, and then afterwards we are going to attempt to remember where we're supposed to go. Yeah, see if I if I grab that magic thing, I I think I should be able to cure this. It's kind of expensive though. Yep, gotta go all the way down. There it is. Cure disease. Holy shit. Normally charge more, but if you only ask 460 gold. If you're going to charge me that much, I would rather go back and, and get myself a cure disease uh, magic ability then. 
That's ridiculous. Get over there. Your disease. Yeah, that is. That is a bargain in comparison. Okay. Your disease. We're assigned it to nine. Now, if I apply that. Spell effect failed. Oh. Okay, I can come here for training. Okay. So I don't have sufficient ranks yet. Okay, this is this room. Who's this guy? Dangerous summoning? That sounds dangerous. Teleportation guy. Okay, so that's who I need to talk to. Basically, I talked to Gandalf. Oh, just some back area. I was kind of hoping they'd have like a bunk or something I could sleep in so I can I can get my my energy my uh mana points back. How much gold? I mean I have enough gold to take care of it. It just sucks that I'm going to have to spend it on this. Okay. Well, I guess I'd rather spend the money to take care of the problem. Instead of constantly trying and failing. I'm sure it'll come in handy for me when I'm inside like a dungeon or something. All right.
right, cure disease, thank you. Uh... Okay. It's past 12 now. What are these dots here? That's longing. I remember Black Witch. Black Witch. Harvey's Hold. Hawkton's Guard. I wonder if they're... Ruins of Wickstorm. Oh, okay. So I think we have to go this direction then. Save first. And then let's look into making that journey. A letter is pressed into your hands. You spin to see who gave it to you. You catch a glimpse of the livery that vanishes into the crowd. Huh. Is there for me to read the letter? Dear Selina Evelyn, I've heard about your accident at sea and I feared the worst. Now that I have... Bird, you're alive and well. I would like the opportunity to meet with you and discuss our beloved Emperor's mission in Liak Bay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lady Magnesium, the Emperor's agent in the court of Daggerfall. My position is not so official as an ambassador. None but other agents of the Empire know my true affiliation. The Lyak Bay is rife with rebels against the Imperium Throne, so your discretion is required. For the purpose of our meeting, I will be I will take a room at an inn, the Laughing Gnome and the Howling Dagger Inn of Daggerfall, for a month. After that, I will no longer be available. I expect to see you soon. Okay. What's the other one? Your, your offer is Luke. Okay, this is the thing that we have to... This is the thing we have to uh, replace. Well, that's right. Like, the, the guy was talking about tights. cows that's a pretty small place I mean the person would have to be here somewhere the king's goat first equipment that's literally it I mean, heck, there's not a lot of houses here, so I could probably just take take a look at them real quick. Unless if I had to ask someone. The Hearthsmith Residence. That's a named one.
Okay, let's go check this area. Could have been in here the whole time. Meow. Nope, okay. Here you go. It's really easy. You want to go... Hold on. Let me show you the horse. Okay. So it is that one. Thank you. Let's see. If I go right up to somebody... Okay. Nope. Yeah, I need to, I need to look into to downloading that context-sensitive mod. So I don't have to keep hitting all the, the F keys all the time. An irritated voice hollers. It's open. Looking for Bedweird... Bedweird Greenheart? Is that how you pronounce it? I gotta go? What do you, what do you mean you gotta go? I don't know nothing about. I ain't saying anymore. Well then, huh? Interesting. Oh, well, that's why. Okay, hopefully this is the correct there. Oh, this is exactly who I talked to. I was hoping Alabaster Coppersley would be able to get this in the meantime. It's been so busy lately. Hey, there's the 432 he promised. Heck yeah. All right, good times. Good times there. Definitely save that. Okay, let's take a look at this. I don't know what the different colors mean. Like, those are orange, right? Oh, so I guess homes are there. Those are the towns. Hmm. Alrighty.
All right, let's make this trip and see what happens. Wait, available gold trip cost. What do you mean of it? What? I should have a lot more gold than that. What happened? Do I have to go back and... Uh, let me, let's let's backtrack a little bit here. Okay, thank God. <laughs> so wait, when I did the other quest, did I get paid? Or did I forget to collect the payment? Because, I mean, that's... that's <laughs> that is no good. Okay, we, we got the money, though, so that's good. Alright, let's see if we need to pick up some more rations. Five water skin. Do you need more water? Yeah, I don't know if we need, I don't know if I need more water. Hmm. Yeah, rations seem to be like the thing that we always need to be aware of, but... Um, How much is that? Okay, yeah, I'll just buy it, just in case. All right, well, that was a that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, okay, hopefully we don't have to deal with any of them in here. Ugh.
Hey, it's a blade storm. How are you doing, dude? Good to see you. Okay, that was a little intense there, not gonna lie. I, f I figure, I think uh, I was using a weapon that wasn't uh, a long blade, hence why I was, like, really not doing well earlier, but, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, the Blade Storm. Uh, as you can see, we've uh, started up another Daggerfall, Daggerfall game, except we are starting over. Because um, I, I learned more about character creation and some real cool stuff to look out for, so... We're doing a build that should advance a lot faster um, and uh, give us more of an edge. But I also found out that uh, when we did that one quest and we went down that pit that we got trapped in, all I had to do was actually switch to grab mode and put my, my weapon and I could climb out. I felt like such an idiot when I, f when I figured out how to do it. I'm like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, well, <laughs> new playthrough it is. Hope you're doing well, dude. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, the lighting in here is like super creepy. Like this feels super sketch, but yep, this feels like a place where I can actually rest. Damn, when that skeleton came out of nowhere, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go. <laughs>
All right, that got a little scary. <laughs> More resting. I don't know if it's the combination of my weapon being a better quality, or if it's, if it's both that, or my skills seem to be increasing with long play. But you know, <laughs> I'll I'll take it. I notice the growth.
And not gonna lie, that shadow the of that uh, torch there almost looks like a some weird creature just kind of lying in wait in the shadows, doesn't it? Damn. We have been bested by the skelly. Uh, well, we can attempt one more dungeon dive before I uh, call the call the night. So let's see if we can get a little further in. I really need to put that mod in that helps out with uh, keeping my quests organized. I think there's another mod I might be missing too, which uh, would be... Um, helpful. Well, uh, alrighty. I wasn't expecting that creature. Um, damn. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. That, um, that was rough. <laughs> I didn't land a single blow on that guy. Uh, and he silenced me too, so I don't think I could, like, cast anything. So. She. Oh, well. Well. This was a fun little uh, uh, starting run for a brand new adventure in Daggerfall Unity. Well, I thank you all for joining me tonight. It's been uh, it's been a fun experience, but I definitely have some more mods I need to add um, for some quality of life uh, additions. Let's uh, let's see who is currently online. Maybe someone else who is also doing some uh, dagger falling cool to see uh, someone else uh, who is currently playing, you know, pass the torch on to them. Uh, oh, actually, no, let's, uh, let's go say hello to um, uh, Anaconda Stark. It's actually his three-year streaming anniversary. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go. Let's go right. Definitely looking forward to doing some more, uh, some more of this. Uh, this game's awesome. 
And they definitely have some research I need to do on how certain things work. But uh, yeah. Anyway, you all hope you all have a good night. Look forward to seeing you all on Friday. Uh, I plan to start the Tale of Two Wastelands uh, mod overhaul for the uh, Fallout 3 slash New Vegas playthrough. So looking forward to see you all then. Hope you all have a wonderful night. And uh, remember everyone, it just works. Later, everyone.